Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I attempted a hard mode run with Isaac last time. Let's do that again, but with Lazarus. Lazarus starts with a pill, three hearts, and the ability to come back to life after he dies. Once. Single time. An extra life, basically. Um, I think... I think stats are pretty average across the board. Maybe a little less damage to start off with than what Isaac had. Alright, item room here. Big, beautiful fly. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So that's a bomb fly, but it's on our side. So that could be great, or it could be like Bob's brain, and I could end up hurting myself because of the stupid thing. Does it... Okay. So I'm assuming that we only get its use once per room? Because it kamikaze there. Oh, yeah, and it's back. Okay. All right, all right. Well, this is going to be interesting to get used to. I have never had this item before. Seems pretty straightforward, though, as to what it does. Seems way, way, way more useful than the... Uh... Gosh, what was it? My reflection that we started with last time? I'm hoping that it'll crash into an enemy right around this rock here and give us access to that tinted rock, which didn't happen. That's a shame, because I don't have any bombs. Or keys, for that matter, which might be a problem on the next floor, considering that we don't get drops very often. That's just apparently a quirk of hard mode. It certainly does make the game a lot harder. Dang it. That was silly damage that I shouldn't have taken. Also, really, really... Okay, so maybe you do just respawn after a couple seconds. That's really interesting. Um, Really, really tough enemy is spawning, like, pretty early health down. Good gravy. That was a garbage pill. I went in. I went into the other room in the event that it might have been uh, explosive diarrhea, which would have let us access that tinted rock. That was not the case, though. Okay, so we have the rare and, in my opinion, much easier to fight elite version of the Duke of Flies, where he doesn't actually spawn flies. Oh, he spawned one, and it was his undoing. Okay, Magic Mushroom. That is okay. We're now super huge, which means a bigger hitbox, but... Better range, better speed, better tears, better damage. We got our heart back that I lost like a ponce. Uh, well, I guess this is a thing that I'm going to be doing. We really need every edge we can get right now, just because of how this is going. So what do we got there? Two half hearts. Okay, that is perfect. So we can go check out the cursor room. That's actually super awesome. Very, very cool. And with that, we have to say goodbye to the shop and the magical treasure rock. Head down below. All right, basement part two. What do we got? Uh, Gish enemies. Nothing super crazy about them. They're actually fairly easy to deal with. Uh, poop room. Not a fan of you. And our bomb fly blew up against something. Let's see if it respawns while we're in this room, because I imagine we're going to be here for a little while. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you, it, it's exactly like Bob's brain. It just respawns whenever it feels like it. Every, like, couple of seconds or so. That's awesome. I was worried... I, I was expecting that we would only be able to use it once per room, but the fact that we could maybe use it multiple times per room... Granted, its utility is also a bit worse in these giant rooms, just because they're giant rooms, and it's going to be bouncing around forever. Huh. Well... Accidentally ended up clearing out the room with my black heart there. Oh, we don't have a key. This sucks. I really, really don't want to have to pass up an item room. 
You know what? Let's do the boss right now. Monstro! Double Monstro again. Oh, boy. There's so many things going on here. Uh, our bomb flash should be fantastic against these, though. Oh, and one of them's already dead. I am doing a lot of damage, which is awesome, and also the bomb fly, which is super awesome. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Well, let's deal with the devil. Alright, pill, speed up. Sure, I'll take two of those. Lock down, that is not so good, and puberty is nothing. Okay, that's the brimstone, baby. I don't want to take it because it's kind of not fun to have. It's just... Nah, it's like a just a weirder version of Brimstone. I'm kind of not a fan of it. It makes the game weird, because you play it like you have Brimstone. But you don't. I don't know if I've gotten it on this. It was, um... Like, if I've gotten it in my series here, my Let's Play series. But it was, honest to goodness, the item... Like, one of the very first items that I picked up uh, when I did uh, just a quick test run of the game by myself before I started recording. I did a single run through the game, and I had, like, just ridiculously crazy... Hello. That's weird. Um, really, really powerful items on the run, and, like, I killed Mom, and it was kind of a breeze. Um, anyway, that would be Kamikaze, which I have not picked up yet, but it's a, a, a usable item, and you use it... it blows you up, so you lose a heart of damage, but you do pretty massive damage to everything in the area, and it might count as a bomb, I'm not sure, meaning it might let you, like, uh, blow up rocks and things if you're in a pinch, but it's really not super good. Awesome. Oh, health down. That's spectacular. I want nothing to do with it. Wish I could drop. Actually. Nope, can't drop it. That's a shame. Oh, we don't have bombs. Oh, but I do have a key. Oh, I picked up a key. I have never been so excited to have a key before. Also, I really like that we're fast. It's a very nice change of pace. Okay, so that's the Book of Sin. Reusable item generator. It doesn't generate reusable items. It is itself reusable, and it generates uh, just random drops and things. So we might be able to get keys and bombs from it, which would be spectacular. However, the Spirit Heart, also super spectacular. It's a shame we don't have more keys, because I would really love to go check out um, the shop and then whatever the other room is, probably like a library or something. And that golden chest. Man, we're passing up on so many items, but honestly, right now, because we don't have that stupid godforsaken mirror item. I'm feeling much, much better about this run than I did the last one. And then we get the catacombs, which might very well change my mind. Um, that might be worth it if I don't get a key elsewhere. So we'll come back. I want nothing to do with this situation. This is awful. Bomb, will you please go deal with the poop? Thank you. Yes? No? Oh, man. This is a very specific hitbox, it looks like. You're not gonna hit the poop, are you? I'll go hit the poop. I'll at least take pot shots at the... Ah, dang it. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Little poop's easier to deal with. Okay, so the bomb fly is useful, but only when it feels like being useful. That's kind of my takeaway from this so far. Oh, see? There. Useful. Very, very useful. It eliminated one of the really nasty enemies, so I didn't have to deal with it. And a spider. Oh, the spiders are pretty nasty in their own right. Hello? Yeah, I feel like I have a lot more damage already than I did in the last run. What are we at? We're up to four. Okay, so I do have more damage. <laughs> Isaac, I think, has three damage to start with. Maybe only two. I don't remember. Ah, oh, dang it. Walked right into that. Dang it! Well, that sucked. Alright, well, that was kind of not very graceful, but that's okay. You know what, let's do the uh, arena room. And we got a key, so that actually makes it super duper worthwhile, in my eyes. And we'll be able to use our bomb fly multiple times in here, potentially. Which is really quite cool. Oh, 
Oh man, and it's just gonna be these things. So they're not too bad to deal with in these smaller rooms. I mean, they're pretty dangerous, that's for sure, but... Yeah, that worked out. And then the bizarre, like, Larry Jr. Chubb hybrid. And then his maggoty remnants. Do we get anything else? We get a heart. That's not bad. Let me get another key. Okay, alright. Awesome. Ah, dang it. Well, I don't think there was really much I could have done there. Hello, you're super quick. You were super duper quick. Are those all, those were all champions, or three of them were champions at least. That's crazy. Okay. Oh man, thank you, Bombfly, for kamikaze yourself into one of the giant poops. Okay, giant poop is done, so just the little ones. Still haven't found the item room. There is a treasure rock right there. Which would be fantastic to get, but I don't really see that happening anytime soon, slash at all. Ah, oh, yeah, and you blew open the secret room for me. That's amazing. Another black heart. Okay, all right, feeling good about this. Not gonna give you my keys. Keys are a precious commodity, considering how last run went and how this one started. Okay. All right. Uh, ooh, technology. Laser tears. I do believe I've gotten this one before. It'd be really neat to get, like, some other tier effects, but as it is, this is pretty awesome. Does it boost our damage? No. But our damage is pretty all right to begin with. Oh, we do have a bomb, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do this. <laughs> More keys. Okay, well, I do have a lot of keys. Nah, it might be worth going and paying a visit to the uh, key beggar. I have no idea what that key beggar's name is. So I'm just going to call him key beggar. Um, the thing that I've noticed about the key beggar, and I don't know if this is always true, this is purely anecdotal, just from my own personal observations in the limited number of times that I've fed keys to him. I'm assuming he eats them, right? I mean, uh, that, that's obvious, right? What else would he do with all those keys? Um, I... He often pays out with, uh... Like, the golden key locked treasure chests. Out comes one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Polycephalus! What's going on, buddy? This is an interesting enemy. You don't want to get too far away from it because it turns invisible like that, and you can kind of track it sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my strategy for fighting this thing. It kind of sucks. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Pageant boy. Alright, ultimate grand supreme. And that's a ton of cash. So that means... Oh, we could use the Book of Sin for another penny. Um, let's go check this out. Yeah, so I might want to give keys to the beggar. Ooh. You are definitely worth buying. You're worth buying as well, probably. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Um, We can gamble on a pill. Sure, why not? Tears up. Awesome, I can shoot my laser faster. Um... Yeah, he, so he might be worth gambling. Sorry, still trying to finish that sentence. But if he gives us, like, if he takes a whole bunch of our keys and then just gives us a locked chest, that strikes me as not terribly worth it. Like, I don't have a million keys. I have five. And I want to save a couple for the next floor. So I think I talked myself out of it. I think I'm going to not give him anything. I don't have any bombs. Uh, the item I bought in the shop, by the way, is a, uh... It turns all bomb drops into doubles instead of just singles, so we'll only see two bombs, not one, if we ever see bombs at all, which, uh, you know, the way things are going, it, that might not ever happen. Ooh, we could get into the arcade. Uh, that's an option. We'll think about that. Bunch of pills that I don't have any way of getting at. 
I'm really liking that explodey kamikaze bomb fly that's on our side. That's actually a, like a really neat familiar. I that blue one might explode or it might just like turn into a key. I'm still trying to figure out the colors. Nope, it exploded. No wait, that was my bomb. Well, then it might not do anything. All right, I'm feeling pretty confident about my odds here, thanks to technology. Oh, we get another key. Good grief. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually digging this. I'm feeling pretty gosh darn good about this run so far. And that one dropped a heart. There we go. Two bombs. That was beautiful. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do this. Hmm. <laughs> the holy shield again. That's fantastic. I don't know if that's gonna take me down to the next level or if that's just like go down and get an item. So we'll come back for that after I fight the boss. Cause we're in yeah we're in the catacombs part too. Dang it. Oh, that was my shield. Ah, that was that was the damage. There it was. Oh man, stupid exploding mushrooms. Ugh, that that room was horrible. It still is horrible. I'm still stuck here. I don't know why I was having such a hard time hitting that enemy up there. Good gravy. What is going on in this room? Everything is exploding. Oh, spider. Okay, well that was my free hit. I'm so glad that we got the holy shield again. That's... Oh. Well, it's not going to stop me from taking stupid damage like that, but it is going to reduce the frequency with which I take that horrible, stupid, silly, avoidable damage. Okay. So we're going to do this first. Which means another soul heart and a boatload of bombs, and then we will come back for the eternal heart there later because i'm gonna want that when we're like ready to leave the level oh boy oh yeah okay and you open up the room a bit more for us which is beautiful uh, okay, so this is our shop, which contains greed. That's fine. That's okay. Greed, no big deal. We got this. Bomb fly, you got this? Nope. Bomb, bomb fly? Bomb fly? You want to participate? Nope. I'm going to kill everything before you get there, again, I guess. That's fine. Steam sale? Sure. Why not? This room again. So I think it looks like they're just not reacting, like they're not um, giving me the, uh, like they're not blinking red like they're getting shot, but they are still taking damage. Oh man. Bombfly, please kill him. Thank you. Whipworm, whoosh. I don't think that matters at all because we have the laser. <laughs> okay, that was just a, a freebie. Just <laughs> use it to re-roll it again. Ah, uh, yeah, let's let's do this. The dark one, who's not awful. Oh, bombfly! I almost had that. I have absolutely no knockback thanks to the laser, so I don't have to worry about like pushing him out of the way and then accidentally running into him like I usually do. Also, really neat lighting effect with the laser in the dark there, and my glowy divine shield aura. This is a really, this is really cool. I love the new lighting effects in the new engine. The old Binding of Isaac did not have anything like this at all. So good. Okay, safety pin. Evil, range, shot speed up. Range doesn't matter. What do we have there? 
that's the contract from below, I think. And then that's Sister Maggie. Sister Maggie's kind of not useful. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go for the contract from below, which I think just doubles all item drops. So like we already have the doubled up bomb drops. Like this just makes it so that everything drops in doubles. I'm not positive. Oh, yeah, that was agreed. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm relatively certain that that's what it does. All right. And because of that just absolute horrible failure that happened last time, I'm going to maybe take some minor risks here. Oh, we get these pills now. Yeah, let's do that. Um, do some things that maybe might seem silly. Health down. Forgot about you. Amnesia. Well, that's not great. Although we've already cleared out the bulk of the floor, so. Huh, okay, well that's pretty much what I wanted to do. That had the same end result. So we're gonna go into the boss challenge room, now that I only have exactly one red heart. Oh, you know what? Contract from below does not mean all items are, uh, are pairs, like I was thinking. Um, like our bomb item thing did. The one plus one bombs means that now all bombs will be in pairs. Contract from below means when we clear a room and an item drops at the end from that, it will drop double of whatever it does. So, like, instead of getting a chest, it would be two chests. Stuff like that. Holy moly, Megama! I did not know you could show up as a boss in a boss room in the catacombs. Oh, and there's my free hit. This sucks. Okay, maybe it doesn't suck. Maybe that was easy. We didn't get a drop. Well, that's okay. We got, like, some coins and bombs and keys and whatever. We got whatever. That's fine. Take that, that's fine. There are a bunch of hearts floating around here, so we'll check and see. Yes, there is a blood bank, so we'll play the crap out of that for a little bit. Just play everything. I know I have crappy luck. That's fine, whatever. I need to make sure I don't die in here, because that would be silly. <laughs> I almost walked right into that fly. Health down again! Game, why are you doing this to me? Just gonna blow all my money here, why not? So I have no luck, that's why not. Come on. I would love to get those hearts, at least. Dang it. Okay, well... Um, let's blow you up. <laughs> let's not do that then. Let's blow each of you up. Tears up! Awesome. Missing page. It glows with power. That's fine. That's good. It's a good thing to have. I did not want health down again. Oh well. Grab that. We'll play the blood bank here a few more times. I have plenty of soul hearts, so I'm not really worried. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember if there were any hearts. Oh, there's a room that I hadn't been in over here. Huh. Um... Are there any hearts in here? No. I think there were, but I picked them up already. Um, I think we can just leave. Yeah, let's just leave. I could play the blood bank a few more times. Uh... Oh, there were a bunch of hearts left. Well, either way, I'm bored. Oh man, so many hearts. Either way, I'm I'm bored of that. I don't want to keep going back and forth. Let's get out. Oh, I forgot to go check the other um, ladder down. Dang it! I was gonna do that after fighting the boss. Ah, oh well. Oh well. It's okay. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything in that room. Uh, sure. This is like the opposite of a useful item. I don't think it'll even affect me because I have 
Yeah, it doesn't even affect us. Because we have technology. Mom's hands! Actually kind of an easy thing to fight in this room. Especially if it lands literally directly on top of my bomb fly. Which is an awesome item. I really like that item. Yeah, so there we got two keys. Oh, man. Okay, well, whatever. That's my free hit. Use that before I forget. Uh, battery, sure, whatever. Not the absolute most optimal thing that could have happened there, but it worked. These enemies are awful. And this one just looks to be shooting random tears periodically. That's an interesting elite mob. <laughs> Luck down. Not actually any better than the health down pill. Other than that, it won't directly, literally kill me in certain circumstances. All right, that was my free hit, thanks to the stupid little spider there. And that wiped out most of the rest of the room, thanks to the little... Oh, my gosh. Dang it. This is awful. All right, tons of cash, though. That's something. So these fires, I think, can sometimes drop items when you kill them with bombs. We'll give it a shot. Just one. I, that was more bombs than I felt like wasting there, but whatever. I'm running into the realm where I would love to have more damage. I think that would be swell. This is actually like a pretty easy chub fight. But yeah, my damage output is sorely lacking right now. Other than the bomb fly, the bomb fly is doing real good work for us. You know, when it hits. Um, yeah, let's keep going up. Why not? Okay, ghosts. Ghosts are horrible. They are awful. They just have so much HP and they're... They take so long to kill. There we go. Item room. Uh, looks like just a box with spiders coming out of it. A box of spiders. It's a box of spiders. Well an apt description. Sure, let's uh, let's stick with the box of spiders for a little bit. Book of Sin was in the original game, so I'm quite familiar with runs where I have that. Box of spiders is completely new! Ah, okay. Still alive. Somehow. So yeah, we'll roll with the box of spiders. I like, I, I want to see everything, obviously, I just want to pick everything up to have it in my collection, but, you know, I also really want to pay attention to the new, new stuff. I mean, I know there's still plenty of stuff from the Wrath of the Lamb that I have never had in any of my runs. Because I didn't play Wrath of the Lamb all that much. Played it a bit. Not a ton. So, it's really awesome to, to get these actual new items. I feel like a kid again. Just so much to discover and experiment with and try to figure out. Okay, these enemies suck, but I have an army of spiders, which is awesome. And the bomb fly, who uh, already did his thing. Or her thing, I don't know. This sucks. I have absolutely no knockback due to um, having technology. So I couldn't, like, push them onto the spikes or anything like I occasionally do. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Thank you. I do like that technology has infinite range, though. That's pretty awesome. Uh box of spiders, get some spiders, and I'll 
buy a bomb, and I don't remember what that pill is, but we'll buy it. Oh, we haven't seen it, that's why. Balls of steel, that's awesome. Two free soul hearts. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. That spike's gonna probably damage me, but I can also take a free hit, and I don't like this room in the least. Okay, that's not my bomb fly. That's an actual nasty, evil bomb fly, so it, it won't blow up when it hits the other enemies there. But I can maybe detonate it on those things I was hoping for. Okay, and then my bomb fly respawned, and those are bad ones again. It's okay, I got this. We're good. We're good here. Whew. Okay, pointless sacrifice room. Don't feel like sacrificing my health for anything. Uh, yeah, okay, one more room. Exploding demonic eyeball leech monster. That's fine, that worked out just fine. Uh, so, all right, so we got a couple of spiders and we can go check out the boss. have to say, I am feeling pretty good about this. Oh, never mind. Well, good game, everybody. Gosh, and I, I instantly lose the one hit that I can take for free. Okay, Mask of Infamy. Oh, technology pierces through you. Never mind, you are officially a joke. Oh, man. I wish all at Mask of Infamy fights were like that. I had no idea that technology pierced through it like that. Makes sense, right? Technology does pierce. Uh, the Headless Baby, leave a trail of blood wherever we go. Nah, not terribly impressive. Um, I will do something maybe a little silly here. But before we drop down to the next floor, since I'm already going slow and taking my time because I want this to be an actual victory. We're, we're gonna go in there, which... Oh my gosh, I can go into the curse rooms for free because I have the shield. I didn't even think of that. That's amazing. Let's check for the secret room in a couple places, too. So it's not there. Uh, yeah. I So, real quick observation. Real talk. Uh, I can't get over to the walls in this room. I think... That means that the, uh, like, secret room generation algorithm will make those, like, since the walls aren't accessible, I think it makes it so that those can't be the secret room. Like, I'm not 100% positive that's how it works, but so far I have not seen any evidence to contradict that idea. What is that? That's a book. It's a mystery book. Book of Secrets? I don't know what that did. Change our stats? Doesn't look like it. I don't... I have no idea what that did. I also don't... Am I shooting maybe a little faster? Maybe it did change our stats a little bit. We're gonna stick with this. This is new. I'm... I don't know. I, I do not understand. I definitely feel like I'm shooting quicker. Alright, I'll, we'll try to pay a little more attention when I have a full charge on this thing. Can't get into the boss arena. Alright, use a bomb to get two bombs. Sure, seems like kind of an obvious deal to take. Thanks to my double bomb drop item thing that we purchased in the shop, whatever that was called. Maybe I'm not shooting quicker. Maybe I've just always been shooting this quick and haven't been paying that close of attention. I definitely have not been paying that close of attention, so... One way or the other, part of that statement is true. Okay, you're done. These enemies are horrible. Any of those, like, crazy stretchy neck enemies, I really do not like. Don't enjoy you. They're from Old Isaac. They're just a bit of a hassle. Okay, I think that black one there is gonna explode when it dies. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, so it did explode. 
Wait, technology makes dealing with these enemies kind of a breeze as well. Okay, so we're at full health, more or less, minus a half a heart. So I'm going to wait until I inevitably take stupid hit, and then we'll come back for one of those, or both of those, depending on how many stupid hits I take in any given room. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do the big room. And we have the Gurglings. In a super huge room. And that black one, I think, is going to explode, so I need to not be near you. Okay, well, it did explode, but I think that might have been my bomb. Also, there's a white one over there. I don't think I've ever seen a white elite anything. And, of course, the one real... Well, another downside, I guess. Not having any knockback is kind of... Arguably, potentially, in some cases, a downside to technology. Um, but another... Don't like this situation at all. Um, another downside is that like, you can't curve your shots, because you have a laser. Everybody knows lasers go straight, unless... Like, whatever makes that brim... The uh, curly Q brimstone that sometimes... The adversary shoots. And I don't know if other enemies shoot it. I don't know. Okay, so Book of Secrets, fully charged. So we'll look at our health. I'm missing a half a black heart on the end there. We have four coins, seven bombs, seven keys. So if I use you, do you change any of those things? No. Do I have to use it in a room? Like to, will you, um, this is horrible. I got totally trapped there, that sucked. Um, well, there's the stupid damage I was talking about. Check. Oh! Oh, you show me where the secret rooms are! That is interesting. Okay, I would love to have seven cents for the PhD. Uh, I would have loved to have had that, like, a really long time ago. So that we didn't get so many of those garbage pills, but... You know, better late than never. Alright, so we got the contract from below, kicking in there, giving us two chests. Double bombs, awesome. I'm feeling much, much better about our bomb situation. That item really did turn things around for us a little bit. Okay, let's go over here. So I'm going to put a bomb here, and this will let us into the secret room. Nope, wait, sorry. Top versus bottom. These big rooms really mess with my brain. Okay, so I think the Book of Secrets just shows us where the two secret rooms are. Like, it's basically a uh, once-per-floor um, activatable item version of the blue map. Uh, we know where the boss room is, so let's go clear out the rest of this dungeon here. Let's go up top. The hollow. Going to be a breeze, thanks to technology, because we pierce through and hit all the different body segments, and they all take damage. Awesome. And then we can go into the curse room for free. I had not even, like, thought about that being a thing. Okay, well, good thing we can go through it for free, because I'm going to come back here when we get PhD so that those pills are guaranteed to not be awful. That was not stupid damage, because that was my free hit. This is probably going to counteract that, though. Technology also has kind of a weird hitbox. Okay. Run through here. It's okay if I take a hit. The notched pickaxe. Or the notched axe. Rocks don't stand a chance, so this will let us break any rock when we use it. Um, don't, don't care about you. Yeah, we're going to keep the Book of Secrets, because that seems way more useful. Alright, so there's one more room over here to check out. I'm going to hold on to the Book of Secrets and we'll use it as soon as I hit the next floor because I don't think it'll do anything now that I've already used it once on this floor. I don't know that for sure. It could, you never know. Well, 
Well, maybe you do know. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm going to operate under the assumption that it only works once per floor. That seems like a safe bet. Uh, yeah, shop is this way. Okay. I had to make sure I was going the right way still. PhD, better pills, health up, thank you, tears up, even faster. Look how quick we shoot, that's amazing. Uh, depths too, so yeah, we'll donate the rest of our cash. Oh, that's awesome. And then those other two pills are going to be good as well that we left back in the curse room, which I can get into for free. So yeah, see how it's all coming together? All the way back up here. All right. You are luck up now. Huzzah! And... Hematomesis? Hematomesis? I don't know how to pronounce that. But this gives us an interesting opportunity because it evicts a bunch of our... Or it takes us down to one heart and then generates a bunch of hearts on the ground around us. If I use it here... Aha! We can get into the boss room. Boss arena. And get a single half heart. For our trouble. Well... Hey, you never know. These rooms are still kind of fun. Especially when you have a joke boss like Loki. Loki is just, like, not really a threat. Oh, and then a... Uh, dang it. That was my free hit. Um, Elite Monstro 2. Because Lord knows we don't see Monstro enough in this game. I think the Elite version is just, like, smaller and faster. Probably hits harder. But I think Monster 2 already does a full heart of damage with every attack, so maybe just smaller and faster. Bombfly is doing great work for us, though, as are my incredibly rapid laser beams. All right, and we get another half heart. That was it. Okay, yeah. Definitely not worth using a key for all that, but... Oh well, live and learn. And, oh man, we're still not done with this floor. We still have so much left to do. So we're gonna head over here towards the other secret room. Oh. Was paying too much attention to the bomb fly. Ooh, that was really potentially dangerous and silly on my part, running over the spikes when they were down. I was not paying attention to the timing at all. I was just kind of panicking. Okay, welcome to knockback being, uh, or our lack of knockback being a bit of an issue. Well, that worked out okay. I really love... Oh, that's a useless room. Um, I really love being able to just take a free hit of damage in each room. Like, this item is just unbelievably powerful. That's so good. All right. Mom time. Love it if our yeah there we go if our bomb friend would participate. Okay, so this is gonna take a while. We uh, we dish out a good chunk of hits, but our damage is not spectacular. And there was my free hit. Want to kill that fly because he's being an oh okay all right we're doing okay. Mom's down to about half health. Mom's down to about a quarter health. As I was saying. Oh my goodness. Why am I just like walking into things? All right. Palm's almost done. See, not bad at all. All right, so we got the negative. Our fate has been chosen, whatever that means. Uh, we got a devil room, no deals. We do get the three red chests, which means way more soul hearts than we know what to do with. 
so I know what to do with them. Let's leave them there. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, womb part one, or yeah, womb part one, but with the curse of darkness. So this is going to be interesting. Um, Book of Secrets. So both secret rooms are way, way, way over to the right. So... What are you? Umbilical cord. Fetal protection. No idea what that does. We'll, uh, we'll stick with it. Oh, and then look, we get double Mega Maws. Luckily, this is a huge room, and my with my piercing laser, I can just hang out here. <laughs> okay, alright. That was not difficult. Although I guess technically we're not done yet. There, now we are. Uh, this thing. Don't really know what it is. It spawns brains and it charges. Hey, it's the eyeballs. They shoot the same laser that I have. Uh, and then we can check up here and go into- I hope it's a secret room! Hey, what do you know? It's a secret room, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna use the Book of Secrets again. Just to see if it does anything. Oh, it does. That gave us the compass that time around. Oh, uh, I wonder if we use it again if we get the map? Although, I do want to save it for the next floor. Ah, uh, lucky poop. No, we're gonna stick with the umbilical cord. No idea what it does. We're gonna roll with it anyway. Is that- does that mean it's gonna be an extra large boss room? Because that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, it is. Dang it. Let's check out that. Locked chest there. We got our bomb back. And then some. We'll, uh, this is actual dingle, by the way, not just the large poop. One charge, two charge, three charges, and then you're tuckered out for moments. See, I'm learning, I'm figuring it out. Um, I want to go for the other... I'm feeling quite powerful. Like, that's that's where I'm at. I'm feeling really good about how things are going right now. So I'm shooting for the other secret room, even though it is absolutely not necessary for us at all. Double Monstro, because we haven't seen enough Monstro. Luckily, again, super huge room. However, Monstro can jump, so I gotta be careful and make sure I'm always moving, because I don't want one of them to, like, land on me from across the room. That would be bad. Well, now there's only one to deal with, so never mind. Alright, piece of cake. And... secret room, please. <laughs> Broken remote. This will let us randomly teleport. Uh, I don't know. I last time it happened when I tried to use my spacebar item. I've only had that thing once, and it teleported me when I tried to use the shears. So I don't know if it's like if it just happens randomly when you like, when you do anything with an item. Oh, Mr. Fred again. We fought you a couple times. You are not difficult. Um, or if it's like only when you use your spacebar item. Oh, hello, you broke free. I, I was not expecting that. Mr. Fred is easy. He does not have very good range. So, as I have done every time I fought him, like all both other times, we're just going to hang out back here and unleash. And just really not worry about the fight at all. Oh, Doctor, that is exactly what I wanted. The pentagram! Damage up. Oh, that's beautiful. Also, check out that sweet laser effect. I love the lighting. I can't get over that. It looks so good. So, so good. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. No reason to stick around. We've got the pentagram. I'm feeling like we have a pretty good shot at beating Bob's heart unless, because we're on hard, we have like an elite version. I don't even know if that's possible. Or if, uh... 
like she has some new moves or something because we're on like a, some new new attack patterns or who the heck knows. That was silly. I had to walk across the creep, but didn't really have a choice there. This eyeball is the worst. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, Book of Secrets, Eternal Heart. Uh, nah, uh, yeah, whatever, we'll grab it. Why not? Um, we won't lose it until we take actual red heart damage. And I have a lot of spirit hearts, so I'm feeling okay about that. Um, okay, let's go down, because that's headed towards the other secret room. Uh, I, we're not going to get those pills, so... No point in even looking at them wistfully like I was doing. Bummed that that thing had to spawn on top of me. Both of them. Bo both of those things had to spawn on top of me. Oh, I hate these enemies. Those are awful. Alright, we're running really low on bombs. I'm actually starting to get quite worried about the mom part fight. I've taken way more damage than I was expecting to. Or than I would have liked to. You never want to take damage in the womb, but it, it's like this place is just brutal. And everything does a full heart of damage. I'm going to go ahead and throw that reminder out there again. Ooh, more damage. <laughs> That's awesome. Her damage is quite good. Whew, okay. Um, yeah, at this point, we're just cruising around looking... Oh, man, Gertie Jr. This is, like, guaranteed damage. I'm so bad at fighting Gertie Jr. Ah. Yep, there it is. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're slowly but surely getting whittled down and losing more health. And that sucks. Okay. I, w I want to. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I would lose a single heart if I did this. Um, I don't remember what those pills are, but like if one of them were balls of steel, it would be worth it. And I think that orange one might be. I don't know. I don't remember what our balls of steel pill looked like. And that's killing me. What is in here? Oh, pin. Hey, buddy. You're kind of a pushover for a boss. Although you're kind of a pushover in Vanilla Isaac, too. Uh, let's blow these fires up. I blow them up, I mean shoot them with a laser. I don't know how shooting fire with a laser puts it out, but, you know one of life's many great mysteries. Okay. This is not a good pill. Gurglings! You are awful. I hate fighting you. Though that actually went quite well. It's the creep. It's the creep, which is like the blood pool is kind of the same color as uh, like the floor here, plus the weird like filter effect you get in the womb. Or in utero. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Fight Mom's heart. I don't know. I I feel maybe less confident than I did a few minutes ago. I still feel okay. I think we definitely have a shot at this. All right, lost my free hit. That's unfortunate. Mom's heart has weird patterns. Very, very different fight from what it was in uh, Vanilla Isaac. Like, radically different. We're doing really good damage, though. Like, I, I'm really a huge fan of that. Awesome. Begotten baby, an achievement unlocked. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Uh, let's use our Book of Secrets and see if there's anything else here. I didn't think so. Since there's no, like, shop or item room or anything. Uh, yeah, well, let's... Sure. Uh, there we go. Awesome! So that's our first victory on hard mode. So let's see what we get for beating Mom's heart. Huh. Cool. So, 
So I think Begotten Baby is for beating it on hard mode, and I think the three question marks baby thing was um, just forgetting whatever the next ending is. So if we go look at... Awesome. So if we look at Lazarus, uh, there's the heart, like the black heart like everybody else has, and then the red outline probably indicating that we beat it on hard mode with this character. That's cool. Lazarus, congratulations, buddy. You are the first. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, th the other thing I wanted to show off here. The question mark, question mark, question mark that we got. That's the... I guess folks call it the blue baby. But that's, um, so far as I know, our final character, who was also unlockable back in... I don't remember if it was Vanilla Isaac or if he wasn't introduced till Wrath of the Lamb. I think he was in Vanilla. Um, but yeah, so we got another character. But I think the last one. And we got our first hard victory. That's awesome. I'm feeling really good about that. That was a, that was a heck of a run. Nothing too outrageous, though. A lot of fairly familiar stuff. Although the Book of Secrets is really neat. That's interesting. That was an interesting item. Whew, okay. Awesome. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you later.